Another day of deadly explosions in Lebanon. This time, devices including handheld radios blowing up. ABC's Marcus Moore in Beirut, feet away from one of the blasts. We just heard a loud explosion, and I saw a man whose hands were gone. It comes a day after the deadly Pagers attack, killing members of Hezbollah. Sources tell ABC News Israeli agents planted explosives in the pagers and a remote trigger switch to set off the blast. The pager sold to Hezbollah more than six months ago. That's when analysts say Israeli agents likely stepped in. Israel has not commented. U.S. officials say Israel told the U.S. they were going to carry out an operation against Hezbollah, providing no more detail. We were not involved uh, in yesterday's incidents or today's in, in any way. As for the pager attack, Hezbollah apparently using pagers to try to keep communications undetected after one of its leaders urged members to stop using cell phones, citing security concerns. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.